you can't be chosen off of will. You can't be chosen off of just, I meant to do it today and already we fall in love, we gonna get married next week. Pump your brakes, my brothers. Pump your brakes. Let the process play out. That's why y'all don't have a woman. Cause y'all never let the process play out. And while the process playing out, you continue to date. You don't stop your life for no woman. You don't meet no chick today. And because she cute or fine or whatever, you, you, you get rid of all the other chicks and just focus on her. No, you keep on living your life, bro. That's why y'all not respected, man. Y'all not respected because y'all stop living for that woman. Y'all letting that woman rule you and she knows that that's not the way it's supposed to be. So you start losing points immediately. You think you're winning points, but you're losing points. You don't change nothing for her. She is going to change for you. You don't adapt your ways for her. She is going to adapt to you. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Let's discuss Britfoot's Law. You see it on the, on the screen. According to this guy, women rule. Women set the tone for everything. Women will establish you know, society by simply uh, setting the tone for what they want and what they look for, and men will adapt to that and fall in line. That's what he says. Women don't rule, bro. Because see, the problem with the world you live in today, see, his so-called law comes from an observation of how these weak, Charlie, Delta, you know, Gamma. Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon men are moving. Gamma is Charlie, in case you don't know. You know what I'm saying? But Charlie, you know, we sounds better. You know, how these Charlie, Delta, and Epsilon males are moving. That's where his observation that, that, that uh, of this law comes from. He's watching a time where the men are chasing the women. He's watching a time where the men are trying to win over the women. But the men are trying to win over the women. But under natural universal law, not Britfoot's law, Allah's law, God's law, your creator's law, under natural universal law, women choose. Women prove themselves to be worthy of a man. Women prove themselves to be worthy of the protection of a man, of the guidance of a man, of the wisdom of a man. A man gotta have some, of course, you know. I mean, gotta have some, brother. But women prove that they are worthy of that. Under natural law, women get with the men that they want. There is no situation where women rule because the woman is getting with the man. The man is already in motion. He is doing what he do. Women attach themselves to that man in his motion and ask, what can I do to help? Where can I fit in there? Where can I get in there? But these days, the men are asking the women, what can I do to help? Where can I fit in there? Where can I get in there? And that's the problem. Women don't rule. Women rule y'all because y'all are under some crazy upside down satanic stuff. But under the universal laws of natural selection, and I'm not talking about Doranism, I keep saying it. I'm talking about how mates are selected. Women choose. We are no different from other animals. You know the peacocks that they fluff up, they look colorful feathers and dance for the women and the women choose. Whichever one got the most color or you got some birds that do that fluff all this stuff and the female bird choose based on a man that she, you know what I'm saying? It's always women choose. You can't hit her in the head and take her. She got to choose you. So that means once she choose you, she is where she wants to be. You don't have to cater to her because she is the one catering to you. You don't have to do nothing. Not really, but your job. You the lion. You can sleep all day. You can lay down all day. 
But when your duty called, you got to get up and, and, and go to work. And your work is not pleasant. Because you got to deal with the environment. This is what the male lion do. He secures the environment for the lioness. And the lioness choose to be with him because he can perform his duty. He's strong enough in character, in courage, and whatever else it takes to perform his duty. So he can secure them a territory in which they can thrive, in which they can have families and cubs. That's the lion's job. That's your job. Lions are our example of nature. The male lion sleeps all day. The female lions hunt. But whatever they kill, they bring to him and he get first dibs on it. And they don't mind because they know when his duty called, he may not come back alive. That is the plight of the man. I've done several videos talking about disrespecting the role of a man, the protection, the protection role of a man. I hate when y'all talk about men's supposed to protect men, and y'all don't know nothing about protecting, man. This is not a talking point. When you, when that duty calls, when that bell is rung and you have to answer it, you may not come back alive. That is not a joke. That is the one duty that you hope to never have to fulfill. But as I say in the other video, you do protect in other ways against the system, against, against predatory business practices, against government overreach. You're supposed to protect against all of that too as a man. But you don't understand the that, so you can't perform that duty. So in reality, the women don't choose, the women don't rule. They follow a man that they choose to follow. The men are the rulers. The men are the leaders. The women are choosing to get with this man. But y'all got everything backwards because your value system is her value system. I did this in a very early video. The same thing that makes you feel like you're special is the thing that make her feel like she's special. Social economics, education, stuff like that. Jobs, income. There's no separation between your value system and her value system. And she has an age because the government is helping her. So a lot of times the women are beating us at the things that we think are masculine. I heard Crimson say the other day talking about these things we consider masculine, like, like a job and a college degree. These are masculine things. They're not masculine things. You crazy. No, why y'all listen to that chick, man? That's not masculine. That's systemic. That's social economics. That is not masculine. And no, deep down, men don't care about women having those things. And truthfully, women don't care about men having those things. If a woman likes a man, she's going to mess with him. He can be broke. He can be flat out broke. If she likes that man, she's going to mess with him. But the problem is she gets so much hate from everybody around her, from her friends, from her family, from other people in society, to the point where she don't know which way to move. They get confused and they start destroying the things that make them happy. So they, they don't get with the man they really want. And they wait for some buster to come along and chase her and she settles for him, but she never wanted. She never likes him. And then they produce children in that situation, that loveless situation. You wonder why they don't have no love for the children. You wonder why everything is in such a disarray. Y'all doing everything for the wrong reasons. Women need to get back to choosing the men that they want, regardless of what anybody else think about the man. That's your life, sister. You find a man you like, you roll with that man. You roll with him. You get him and you roll with him. That's the man you want. You see what he is when you meet him. You see how he is when you meet him. If, he, if he's the man you want, you roll with him. Don't tell him about, oh, he, he was just so fine. I just like, because he had a nice body. No, don't, don't be so shallow. Look at the man's character. You can still ride him. I mean, if, if you just like him physically, you still jump on top of him, have sex with him, and still bounce. But when you find a man you want, you pursue that man. And that way, once you get that man, y'all are going to travel together. Women don't rule. Bilfus, Bilfus Law is one of those things that prove why the Red Pill community is so messed up. Everything they believe is backwards. 
And again, that comes from a white man. See, that comes from a white man. They got God laws. We already got universal laws, but they ignore that. Unless a white man tell them what, you know, what the law is. And that's not the law, bro. Women don't rule. We don't, we don't adopt to women. We, we don't change our behavior to, to, to benefit women. That's what weak men do. That's what Charlie males do. That's what Delta males do. That's what Epsilon males do. We don't do that. The alphas and betas don't do that. We don't change to, 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 to placate to women. We are on our grind as men. We are in our motion as men. We are in our life as men. And when we run across women, the women choose to get with us. Now, let me explain the process of that because this is another problem y'all have. As I said in another video, y'all meet too many women. Y'all meet everybody under impression like, like you, gotta, you gotta interview them for potential marriage. You don't do that. You just meet people as human beings, right? And you start hanging out, right? You're in the friend zone. Remember I said this in the last, in a couple of videos ago. You're in the friend zone, right? You go from the friend zone, casual dating, serious dating or whatnot. I forgot how I said it, but it's a process. And you let the process play out. You don't just jump from meeting today to, okay, we seriously dating now. It's just me and you. You don't know each other well enough for that. Take your time and let everything fall in line. Stop being so jealous hearted. Stop being so possessive. Take your time and let things fall in line. You continue to date as many people as you can date. Let her date whoever she wants to date. When she's with you, you judge her based on how she is when she's with you because she's working out things also. She's working out things. You're not working out things. You let her work out things. You should be just in your life. You should have buku women doing your thing and let the women work, their, work it out. And the woman, as they work it out, they're going to let you know which one or which ones that have, that have seriously now chosen to travel with you. At that point, you have been chosen. But you can't be chosen off of whim. You can't be chosen off of just, I met the dude today and already we fall in love, we're going to get married next week. Pump your brakes, my brothers. Pump your brakes. Let the process play out. That's why y'all don't have a woman. Because y'all never let the process play out. And while the process playing out, you continue to date. You don't stop your life for no woman. You don't meet no chick today. And because she cute or fine or whatever, you, you, you get rid of all the other chicks and just focus on her. No, you keep on living your life, bro. That's why y'all not respected, man. Y'all not respected because y'all stop living for that woman. Y'all letting that woman rule you and she knows that that's not the way it's supposed to be. So you start losing points immediately. You think you're winning points, but you're losing points. You don't change nothing for her. She is going to change for you. You don't adapt your ways for her. She is going to adapt to you. So, Brifford might say that women rule. Allah says men rule. Alphas rule. That is God's law. Now, you choose which one you want to listen to. I know what I did. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.